Go to this URL. I want to be able to track customer orders. When a user makes a purchase, I'm going to use Django Signals to create a Stripe customer object. I want to associate each user with their profile. I need to change my model. So in profiles models.py, first we will import all the settings. Then we will add a new field called user. User will be associated with the auth user model. So on line two, type from django.conf import settings. Then on line nine, type user equals models.one to one field settings dot auth user model null equals true and then finally blank equals true a one to one field is a foreign key it allows me to relate the profile model to the user model I'm going to make a new model. So type class user stripe models dot model colon user equals models dot one to one field settings dot auth user model. And we'll have another field that on line 16 that will be stripe ID equals models dot car field max underscore length will be 200. And we will have null equals true and blank equals true as well. Finally, on line 18, write def unicode self, and then we'll do if self dot stripe underscore ID will return the string of self dot stripe underscore ID. Else return self dot user dot username so if there is a stripe id the unicode will return the user's stripe id if the user does not have a stripe id the unicode will return the username so i need to import all auth signals on line four type in from all auth dot account dot signals import user logged in and user signed up Then on line 17, change blank to have a lowercase b, and do the same for blank on line 9. Should be lowercase b blank. Save that. I want to add the model user stripe to admin. Open profiles slash admin.py and type from dot models import profile user stripe. Class user stripe admin. admin.modeladmin class meta model equals user stripe admin.site.register user stripe user stripe admin save profile slash admin.py and open your terminal run Python manage.py make migrations, then run Python manage.py migrate. Get your server going and go back into Chrome and go to slash admin. Click on profiles. Click add profile. There's now a user field. The user field associates a profile with a user. Fill this form out and save it. Now click add profile one more time. 
Try saving the form with the same user. I get an error message because the user model is an one to one field. Therefore, each user can only be associated with one profile. Go back to slash admin. This time click on user stripes and hit add user stripe. I can now associate a user with a stripe ID. I'm going to implement a signal called user logged in. When a user logs in, a signal will be sent to receiver function, which will do something. Go to this URL. The documentation has example code for a receiver function and for connecting receiver functions. Copy the receiver function example code, def my callback, all the way down through print, request finish, and open profilesmodels.py. Paste on line 25. KWARG stands for keywords argument. I want to see which arguments are sent with my callback, so type print KWARGs. Go back to Django's documentation, scroll down to connecting receiver functions, and copy request underscore finished dot connect my callback. This line of code is connecting a signal to receiver function called my callback. In my project, I want to connect the signal user logged in to my callback. So open profilesmodels.py after copying request underscore finish dot connect my callback. Go back to your models.py and paste on the line 29. And then instead of request finish, delete that and type user underscore logged underscore in. So now when a user logs in, this function will connect to my callback. Save models.py. Go back to your homepage and from the navbar log out, then log back in. Open terminal. Scroll up until you find a request finish printed. Under request finished, the keyword arguments are printed in a dictionary. Instead of printing all the keyword arguments, I only want to print the user parameter. So open profilesmodels.py and delete keywords and instead print user and then type in request and user. Save models.py, go back to the site's homepage, log out, then log back in. Open your terminal and the user is printed. When a user logs in, I want my model to create a profile and a user stripe in the database. So go to slash admin, click on profiles and check all the profiles. I'll delete the one I have and go to slash admin, this time click on user stripes, and if you have any user stripes, delete them. Go back to models.py for profiles, and delete print request finished. Type id stripe, comma created, equals user stripe dot objects dot get or create, user equals user. Then below that type if created, print created for percent s percent user dot username. And this will use string substitution to print a message and it will say created for the username. and then delete print user. When users log in, I also want my model to create a profile for them. So type user profile, comma, is underscore created equals profile dot objects dot get or create user equals user. And then below that type if is underscore created 
and then we'll have user profile dot name equals user dot username and then we'll save the user profile with user profile dot save now if ID stripe is created created for username will be printed through string substitution if a profile is created the username is saved as the profile name go back to the site's homepage log out and then log back in go to slash admin and click on profiles there is a profile with my username as the profile name go back to slash admin and click on user stripe click on the user stripe there is no stripe ID However, this instance of user Stripe is associated with my username. Open profilesmodels.py. I'm going to refactor this code. I want two callbacks, one for profile, the other for Stripe ID. So type def Stripe callback, sender request user, and then asterisk asterisk kwargs which is keyword arguments and then have id stripe created equals user stripe dot objects dot get or create user equals user and then below if created print created for percent s percent user dot username Then on line 40, delete my callback, and in its place, have it take the argument stripe callback. So now when a user logs in, it will connect to stripe callback. And then type def profile callback, and this will take the same arguments. So just copy and paste in sender request user kwargs and then user profile is underscore created equals profile dot objects dot get or create user equals user and then if is underscore created user profile dot name equals user dot username and then user profile dot save copy user logged in dot connect stripe callback and paste it below and instead of call stripe callback have it take the argument profile callback and delete my callback from line 25 to 33. Stripe callback and profile callback do the same thing as my callback did before I refactored it. Separating the callbacks like this makes the code more readable and maintainable. Right now the user profile is created when a user signs in. I want the user profile to be created for an user when they sign up. I'll use the user signed up signal. So delete user underscore logged in and type user underscore signed up. Now a profile will be created when the user signs up. 